Hey guys, welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to remove background noise in Final Cut Pro. In general, when you record an audio, it picks up a lot of unwanted background noise. It becomes a headache to remove all sort of background noises like white noise, hiss noise and so on. The audio which you are listening right now is a cleaned up one. Listen to the original audio now. This is the original audio clip. So you are gonna be learning how to remove unwanted noises in Final Cut Pro without any plugins. Now listen to the same audio with the background noises removed. This is the original audio clip. So you are gonna be learning how to remove unwanted noises in Final Cut Pro without any plugins. Very clear and audible, right? So you're gonna be learning this. You're gonna be learning how to use different inbuilt audio effects inside Final Cut Pro to remove unwanted background noise. Let's begin. In the past, I have heard some issues in removing background noises like static noise, white noise, hiss noise in Final Cut Pro. Annoying background noises can ruin a clip, but Final Cut Pro has a very good tools to identify and clean up those unwanted noises automatically and clean up your audio clip in a click of a button. Using this technique, you will learn how to remove unwanted noises very easily. Now let us select this portion of the original audio clip for comparison. This is the original audio clip. So you are going to be learning how to remove unwanted noises in Final Cut Pro without any plugins. Now check the inspector here. It is pretty flat with nothing analyzed yet. So if you simply click here, it will analyze the clip and fix it automatically. Let's do it. You notice now it analyzes the clip and fix it automatically. You notice here it is still a flat profile. Click this drop down list and you will notice pre-built profiles like voice enhance, music enhance, loudness and so on. Let's select the bass boost and tweak the loudness amount and uniformity of the loudness let's keep it at 100% so it's uniform throughout the audio clip. Now click the noise removal and drag it to 100% so it removes 100% noise removal throughout the entire audio clip and leave the hum removal as it is. Now listen to the audio clip. This is the original audio clip. So you are going to be learning how to remove unwanted noises in Final Cut Pro without any plugins. It is much better but still needs more work. Listen to the original audio again. This is the original audio clip. So you are gonna be learning how to remove unwanted noises in Final Cut Pro without any plugins. Still need more work, right? So what we'll do, let's add some audio effects inside the Final Cut Pro. Let's select this portion of the audio clip and let's go to the effects and go all the way down to the audio section. Now select the spaces effect this spaces effect has wonderful predefined spaces with natural audible levels of each particular space. Basically, you are trying to simulate the sound of an acoustic environment such as rooms, concert halls, small or medium or large spaces, etc. To understand the concept, the sound waves repeatedly bounce off the surfaces like walls, ceilings, floors and doors and so on of any particular space or objects within that particular space, gradually dying out until they are inaudible. That's a concept. So Final Cut Pro has a lot of pre-built spaces, like small spaces, large spaces, medium spaces and so on. So in this audio clip, let us say we are recording from a recording room. Even though I am not recording from a recording room, I am still trying to simulate as if I am recording from a recording room. So let us say, let us select uh, small spaces, go to rooms and you will notice a lot of presets. So let's select a recording room profile. Now let's play with the equalization. So go to the EQ section and choose voice or music effect. Now if you check the inspector window, select the preset as a steeper slope and play with the values. Let us keep it at zero. Basically if you go negative it is more of a bass voice and if you go positive it is more of a treble. So let's keep it at zero. Now again in EQ section choose remove high frequencies effect and check the inspector and leave the preset as high cut and leave the value as 6.0. Now again in EQ section let's select less treble effect in the inspector window, leave the amount as 20 or 25. Just play with it. Now select the specialized section and select denoiser effect. Now if you look at the drop down list, you will notice few presets. Select the white noise filter. You may want to play with his noise as well. It depends on the audio clip which you are working with. In our case, let us select the white noise filter. That's it. Now let's play. This is the original audio clip. So you are going to be learning how to remove unwanted noises in Final Cut Pro without any plugins. See, it's pretty neat. 
So basically what we did is on an any audio clip, we actually let the Final Cut Pro analyze by itself and then we added some spaces profile and then we played with some equalization effect and then we removed some high frequencies and we reduced the treble effect and then we applied a denoiser filter. That's it. That's all we did. So any audio clip which you're going to be bringing in in the future if you want to apply all of this instead of going and doing the whole thing again and again for every clip you can actually save all of them as one preset so if you want to save these as a preset click here save effects preset and it opens up this window and you save it you choose the category where you want to save it or you create a new category and decide what all you want to save as a preset now give it a name and save and if you check it is part of your audio preset now every time you bring in an audio you simply double click this saved preset that's it it will apply see it has all the settings whatever we played with that's it for now i hope you like this video if you like this video i would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that would give me a motivation to do more videos and if you specifically want to know any trick kindly do let me know in the comments below i will try my best to make a video thanks for watching